I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through one of the exercises that I usually do with my in classroom groups. So we're going to create a simple resource booking system to handle reservations for five meeting rooms. To do that, we're going to create a new custom list app with the services offered. Then we're going to create a calendar list app for each room, save the calendar list as a template, and use that template to create all these rooms. And um, then we're going to create an overview so you can see all the rooms in one view. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go into my SharePoint site and I'm going to create the services first. So we'll do that by going into site contents and adding a new list for the different services that we want to provide. And that's going to be shown in the site navigation. The items we want to do are these. The Let's just do that and this on the left. So then we'll do the quick edit here. And add the coffee, IT, lunch, and dinner, and entertainment. And we're done. So now we have that list. Now we're going to create a new app. So go into site contents to do that. And this is going to be a calendar app. I'll do the Sweden first. And in that list, I'm going to modify the settings for that list by going into list settings. And I'm going to make sure that this always shows up on the quick launch. I'll refresh so we see that. And there's Sweden now. And then I'm going to create a new column here in this list down here services. So these will be the services that are included in each booking. So the services will, of course, get information from the services list. And we're going to use the title of the item there. We're going to allow multiple values so that you can select multiple items if you want both dinner and lunch. So now if I go into my calendar here and add a new item, you'll notice that I have all the default fields, but I also have these services, so I can go ahead and add these things. Call that appointment one. Save. So that's good. Now we have the um, calendar list app for each room and make a multi-valued list against the services app. So we've done that part. Excellent. And we have this list. We have that done too. So now we're going to save this calendar as a template. Go into the list settings. Save list as a template. Room calendar. Copy that and put it in the template name also. OK. And now I can create more of these. So I'll go ahead and go into site contents again. Create a new app. And that's going to be based on the room calendar. Next one I wanted was the USA. And then I'll just continue going new again, new app, room. There's going to be a Spain room also. And finally, we're going to do the Estonia one also. Let's do the app. There we go. Let's see if we missed any. Spain, Sweden, India, India, we missed India, of course. Let's do India also. App. There we go. Now we have the lists created. Now in Sweden here, I will go in. That's the only one that's showing up in the, in the navigation so far. I'm going to go into the calendar here and create an overlay calendar overlay. So in the Sweden calendar, I also want to show the other ones. So I'm going to add a new calendar. And let's start from the end there. India, I did that last, last time. So we'll put another color here on that one. And then we'll resolve the list. Get the India one there. And always show that. Now we keep going like that, India, Estonia, Resolve, 
do another color and then Estonia. That's fine. Then we check OK there. And we keep going. We want the USA and the Spain also. Solve. Always show. I think you're getting the picture. And new calendar finally was the Spain one, right? So one, two, three, four, the other on top of the Swedish one. So if I go into Sweden now, you'll notice that uh, I did a bit of mistakes with the colors there, but I am actually seeing all the calendars within this one view. So if I go into Estonia there and add another appointment, I'll call that Estonia one. And of course I do get the services here that I want to. And um, now that's saved. If I go back to the Sweden one, you'll notice that it shows both the uh, appointments from the Swedish calendar and the Estonia calendar there. So that was what I meant with the overview. Now I've done those part, those parts. That's all done. And then we'll add all the calendars to one overlay and link only that view from the quick launch. So that's exactly what we want to do. So these are all under recent now, so we can edit the links, remove those from recent. We don't want to show those. And then I'll rename the Sweden one and call that room booking instead. And then we can move the services underneath there. That would be because those two belong together, of course. So there we go. So now we're not showing everything. We're just showing the, the room booking and the services. And when I go into the room bookings, then I see everything that's booked in all the calendar. And if I want to book a specific room, I'll go into that room and I'll see that it's totally available and I can go in and add my appointments to that calendar. So that concludes this demo. I think we have done everything that we intended to do. And we're done. Thank you for watching this demonstration.